hey guys it's me obed and today we will see how we can uh, transform this real-time api from open ai interface to our custom interface or whatever we want to build using their real-time api so we will see it in the code and i want you to know if you are working on any custom project feel free to reach out through whatsapp or email and we can build something together okay so let's see first of all uh how we can access this api right from uh, from their uh github so if you just write open ai uh real-time console and github it will uh, give you this link so this is their official package a react app uh, which they have built for debugging or inspecting right uh, to their environment and this looks uh, you know something like this but obviously you don't want to have this kind of interface for your customers you want to modify it you want to build it in your own themes right uh, so what I have done is create a very simple uh interface so i have transformed this much uh interface into a really simple interface and we can even use it right now so if i just say start jet hello how can i help you today introduce yourself i'm an artificial intelligence agent here to help you test real-time voice capabilities i'm upbeat genuine and ready to explore any topic with you okay so if i just uh stop chat it will uh clear all the chat so this is how you can use their open uh real-time api and develop something of your own right there, there can be many applications right uh like uh creating a teacher uh or like teacher student environment or something uh, customer board for your website or you know uh, agent which works on your behalf so something like that right uh, you can do it easily now I will just uh, do one thing that I will show it all of that in the code so you can see I have my react uh, server running and how you can run it you can just download their code in the zip and or just clone it and then there are only two commands which you have to do obviously node should be installed so just install the node uh, for your uh, machine and then npm i for npm install it will install all the uh, dependencies on your uh, uh, system and then npm start it will uh, you know start uh, the server for you so when you uh, hit it for first time you will get something like this now to change how we can change it uh, to something similar or anything you want to build with it how we can do that so you have to go to uh, the source folder there you will have the main page which is this console page dot uh, t uh, tsx so they have written it in the typescript uh, don't worry if you don't know much about these languages because it is already written so you can just you know change uh, comment out something add something have the uh, uh, like the tailwind setup uh, integrated with this environment so that you can develop the UI or uh, design of your own so I will just go to there because this is all the logic these are all the logic which you don't want to interfere and this uh, if you if you uh, start developing it from like uh you know from their documentation that will be super hard and let me tell you why i'm saying this so i'm doing development for like five years now right so when i see uh their documentation for the real-time api i i knew that it, it will you know uh, give hard time to developers 
because this is based on a uh, web socket uh, you know uh, environment and it is not easy to set up in in a custom project i think that's why they have their react package also so that you know developer can easily uh, get started and see things but these are like two or three uh, you know uh, the code snippets they they provide so first is this the second is you can send the audio or the user text but this is i can guarantee this is not enough guide to develop something using the web socket functionality because that is that is actually hard okay so but a good news is we can use their react package and we can mold it you know if we have some uh, sense for the uh, coding overall right now let me see from where the entry point of your application so i will just go to return keyword here and i so this is all the logic uh, now imagine if you are writing it on your own so like 500 lines of logic you have to write right so that will obviously not good or, or like very development heavy for your machine so uh this is the line 506 or something like that in your machine obviously it will be uh, i don't know different or something but return is the keyword after that everything is in your control so you see i have commented out things let's see if i uh like uh remove my comment here so i will get their logo again which i don't want in my custom interface but if i just go to now i have to find but let's close all these things so you see this is logo and this is coming from their uh, original uh, react uh, environment right if i don't want it what i will do i will just comment it out right and i will save it and you will see it will disappear so it is now like i can brand it for for myself right because i am paying obviously for the api key so uh yeah this is how you can modify but let me tell you some more uh you know a quick overviews how things are being uh, like integrated here or composed here but so everything will be in a different div so you have like these divs if you know about a little bit about html we have a div which is a block so this block represent my this setup so real time audio chat now uh if you see in the real time uh, console by the open ai it is something like this so i have changed it to something like this how how i did this i integrated the install the tailwind in my setup you can just write npm i install uh, tailwind and it will do that uh, and also what you can do is add your content from this source so that tailwind knows where it has to play the magic right so i have uh, included these class names so text 3xl that means to make it bigger font semi mold self explanatory right so and this div is uh, let me if i just remove it from the comments you will see it again on my interface so you can see it is the api key now you don't want this functionality for your customers right so you will just comment it out but in the real time uh, console it is already or always present right so you will just comment it out but you have to be like certain for what you don't want in your interface if uh, le let me just do that so uh, if i just remove an extra div all of this code will break and let me you can see this red <laughs> uh, coloring here it will be a nightmare if you if you just do that so i will just undo this change 
now i have just removed all of their events uh, logs which is not obviously good for for like showing it to customers right or the clients so i just removed it i have only included this conversation block and if you just go to their uh, CS, uh, CSS which is some other format but it is it is actually CSS if you see it so uh, now their uh, height was very you know uh, small 200 pixel for the uh, conversation blog so what I did I went to their uh, CSS I search for this conversation and then I increase the height from 200 to 400 like I got the interface working for myself right to, to what I want the uh, customer requirement or like my own requirements right so that is how you can modify it and so and you can see already the tailwind classes are working with the uh, with the react component of open ai and you can develop like anything uh, with the tailwind right so that means you are all in control of the environment or the interface now let me quickly show you how you can deploy this on google cloud because that will be also a major issue uh, after you have developed something so i have uh, i am in my uh, google uh, cloud and so i have just deployed a service uh, for this api so what you can do is deploy this using docker uh, setup or docker environment so i have just created a doc docker file what i am doing is npm install production that means all the dependencies which are in production mode it will install them tailwind i am installing it as a separate entity because i don't want to mess it up even though it will install it from the production but to be safe i am just doing that then i am running the command for npm run build it will build the production environment for a react application and then i am exposing the uh, uh, port which is 8080 why 8080 because i am deploying it uh, to cloud run service so if you just go to uh, google cloud you can do go to uh, cloud run and then deploy this container docker container on cloud run and uh, after that there will be uh, just a command for npm start which will start my server and good thing about this cloud run environment they will give you a secure url for your application and you can add your uh, custom domain for for your setup so they will have like uh, https and you know so this is the environment uh, and the url for your application so if you just open this it will be your custom interface which you have modified for the environment so yeah okay it is loading a bit but it will and you can even mod uh, modify or increase the memory for for your interfaces uh okay so we have the title here uh so and they support like gpu also for for the cloud run service so you can use that okay let's open it in the new tab yeah so we get it working but you can increase the memory and increase it like I don't know, give it like 8 10 gb of ram right so that it loads the all, all the components because this is like heavy super heavy environment or super heavy uh production 
for 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 a uh, uh, for a let me just scroll down a bit for a like voice to voice uh, interface this is something heavy and you have to like uh, you know think of it as from a from a development perspective because this is not something like you you do it from postman or something like that okay i guess you have now the idea of how you can do it and yeah if you are working something big if you are working on something idea you want to discuss it with me you can reach out to me through whatsapp or the mail uh and we can you know have set up on on upwork so i've got there uh, on the profile there uh and stats are pretty good f for me <laughs> okay uh thanks for watching i'll meet you in the next video thanks